If you don't master the fundamentals of personal development, watching more videos, learning more things, reading more books is gonna do absolutely nothing for you. Because how can you build a house on a shaky foundation? If you spend years consuming self-help content, reading books and watching videos and you don't learn about these fundamentals, you're gonna spend your whole life spinning your wheels for years, wondering why you still haven't found that girlfriend, why you still don't have that, that nice house you wanted, and why your life still sucks, why you don't feel fulfilled. So listen closely. I think we all have to go in there and just trust us to it. You know, I've, I was watching a Dan Pina video the, the, other way, the other week. Dan Pina, I love him. He's super direct, super intense, kind of sort of like a more extreme version of me, but extroverted and obnoxious. <laughs> but, you know, so it's like, you know, he, he was just, he was telling the story about this kid who like wrote like, who read like over 500 to 1,000 self-help books. Almost 1,000 self-help books. And he asked him, nice, so you read 1,000 books, so how many deals have you, have you made? Zero. Zero. He didn't make a single deal, meaning like a sale or whatever it means in his terms. The guy didn't make a single sale in his whole life. He read so many business books, sales books, whatever books, didn't make a single fucking sale. Right. So I believe you can extrapolate this to the personal development slash self-help world that if you, you know, you read a bunch of stuff and you consume a bunch of stuff, but you really don't, um, don't take action on the fundamentals, it's just going to lead to nowhere. It's gonna to lead to nowhere, right? How many stories have you heard of like, you know, like the guy like who read like a million books, like if you're in self-help, maybe you have a friend or two into self-help, but at least one of them, do you have at least one of them like reads way too much content and doesn't do anything about it? <laughs> I have one of my friends who's kind of like that. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but so what authority do I have to tell you about all of this, right? Well, I'm a self-help junkie myself, okay? I've consumed so many books, so much content, so many videos, and I've been doing personal development for 10 plus years, right? So I started doing meditation when I was young, like still in my teenage years, I began meditation and researching about that and doing it and self-confidence and all that. So for my 10 plus years of experience, all the fucking stupid shit, like all, all the things that people wanna work on boil down to these fundamentals. Let's start about the fundamentals. So from what I've seen, the main topics really in personal development is, you know, one huge thing is developing self-confidence, self-esteem, right? Because in a world where so much fear rules the world, right? In a world where fear basically is everywhere. Everyone is guided by fear. Everyone is directed by fear. Everyone is afraid of losing money, of, uh, you know, losing a, a loved one or, you know, like getting rejected or whatever it is, right? Of what other people think, all this fear um, the counter to that is to learn self-confidence, self-esteem. Just work on that and you'll see massive improvements in your life. The second aspect of personal development, the second fundamental is emotional mastery, right? Which kind of ties in with self-confidence and self-esteem. Uh, in a way, um, emotional mastery is all about, you know, how to let go of negative emotions. If you feel sad, how do you overcome it? If you feel fear, if you feel afraid, how do you overcome that? Right? You feel angry. How do you deal with that anger? This is a huge component of self-development and it has sort of like an intrinsic aspect and an external aspect to it. So one aspect of it is, you know, you know, learning to manage your thoughts, learning to, you know, cognitive behavioral therapy kind of helps, um, learning to, uh, you know, see things in perspective and also the external part of it, which is, you know, uh, going out there and actually making your life better to make yourself feel better. Right. The third aspect is relationships, dating and uh, social interactions, right? The social world uh, really is another fundamental, right? Huge fundamental of uh, what personal development boils down to because if you improve your relationships, if you make more friends, if you find that ideal partner, your life is just gonna improve, right? And the fourth aspect of what I like to call your purpose, right? And uh, your purpose, you know, basically like your mission in life, the thing you want to do for the rest of your life uh, as a career, hopefully, right? And, uh, you know, this kind of ties in into the money aspect, right? Yes, the money aspect, you know, could be like another fundamental, but I, I prefer to put in the purpose because if you have the purpose right, that's what, from what I've discovered, if you have your purpose set, right, and you really work towards it, you're motivated towards it, 
then making money is just gonna be a byproduct of that. Or another way to boil it down to, you know, if you wanna boil it down to the fundamentals of life, right? Health, wealth, relationship, right? Health meaning sort of like, it could be your mental, we talk about mental health, sort of emotional health, yes. Also your physical health as well can tie into that. Uh, that's a different aspect, right? Wealth meaning like how much money you make, like your, your financial situation and like how fulfilled are you at your job and your career? That's another aspect that less talked about, but, but just as equally important. And the third one, which is relationships, right? How do you feel around your friends? Do you feel included with your friends? Do you feel connected to your friends? Do you feel connected to your girlfriend? Do you feel happy, connected, content uh, with your peer group? Do you feel like this close connection with them, right? These are the fun fundamentals, that's it. You know, every other tool that you learn, so maybe like the sort of like confidence, so like boost your, your happiness technique in 30 seconds and just do this meditation affirmation uh, for one week and then you'll be happy forever, right? None of that bullshit, right? Focus on these fundamentals, right? Or maybe, you know, maybe you've learned about like, I don't know, this, uh, uh, these complex concepts about like, uh, I don't know, like you read so many books about like, I don't know, uh, PUA, MGTOW, like all those red pill stuff, or you read a, a bunch of like advanced concepts about like, you know, how to beat procrastination, you know, duh, 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 duh. like the science of procrastination, this, uh, have you learned in this procrastination? Just boils down to doing the fucking work, right? Or like, take the complexity of it, right? You know, when you're feeling confused, when you're feeling like, like you, you can't understand anything or you feel like uh, you just don't know where else to go, okay? You have this huge complex mess and you know, if you're an intelligent person and introverted, which is, I'm guessing you probably are, right? Um, then yes, you're gonna get lost in all these thoughts and theories and stuff like that. And, and you wonder why you feel so confused and you feel so sad and unfulfilled. If you feel sad, you know, maybe it's not about like this, this, um, getting that new high energy drink thing, or like maybe you need this, this supplements that are gonna upregulate your uh, serotonin, dopamine, endorphin levels, whatever sh crazy shit. No, you just need to get a good job. Maybe you just need to find a friend. <laughs> as simple as that, right? Have you thought of that, right? We like to make things more complex than they need to be, right? And some people, they like leave me like paragraphs or huge comments, right? huge comments about like how they like let's say this toxic relationship oh yeah like this person this is this me and this huge ass text okay and they're like what what should i do what should i do with that person like they're still my friend and my reply is just like well you've been you've been dealing with this toxic person for like two years have you ever thought of just leaving them <laughs> like one sentence i tell them run away from them like it's like run the fuck away <laughs> that's that's like my reply to a comment like this um have you ever thought of that right from the most complex of tasks from the most difficult puzzles to solve sometimes the simplest answer is the answer right occam's razor occam's razor basically means that the simplest explanation is usually the right one right just think about it like just when you have like this crazy concept in your head, like just like think of like, well, what if the simplest explanation is the actual explanation, right? Why do you have to make it so complex? Why do you have to add all these elements in that your sadness is caused because of, um, you know, your serotonin problems and all that, especially in the health niche, right? The biohacking niche or like the, the look at all these studies and all these crazy shit and all these, I mean, just find your purpose. Just find what you want to do for the rest of your life. It's a simple thing. It's a simple uh, answer. Of course, it's not easy to, to, to discover that necessarily, but it's a simple thing. By the way, if you need help for that, you can book a free consultation call with me, link in the description below. Whenever you get stuck, okay? Use Occam's razor, one. And two, ask yourself, what am I trying to achieve? What do I want to achieve? What do I want to do? What do I want to get at? What's the point of all this? Where do I want to get to, right? Well, okay, well, uh, you know, I'm struggling with uh, losing weight and I've tried all these diet pills and I've tried uh, the ketogenic, the vegan diet, whatever, intermittent fasting thing. It hasn't worked. Well, what are you trying to achieve? I'm trying to lose weight. Okay. Um, well, what about that? You eat less. 
you calculate your cal calories and you eat less. Instead of trying to find like that, oh, what's the fat burning uh, drink that I can drink like coffee, it's gonna help me burn fat or whatever thing's gonna help me burn fat. No, the simplest thing, just eat less. Have you ever thought of that? And that's it. And sometimes it's even in the simple questions, right? Whenever you feel stuck, okay? Whenever you feel stuck in life and you just ask this question, what will make me more happy in life? What's, this, what's the first answer that comes to your mind? If it's to have a better relationship, then do that. If it's to find a girlfriend, just focus on that. The first thing that comes to mind, right? The real thing, the authentic thing that comes to mind. Maybe what would make me happy is to quit my part-time job, right? I'm making decent money with Nameless, but unfortunately it's not my full-time, it cannot be my full-time income yet. I'm in transition mode right now where, you know, it's kind of 50-50, right, with my job. Um, but that's what will make me happy. And it's a simple thing. And for that reason, this is the one thing I focus on. And now I have a plan, okay, well, what will make me happy is to quit my, to, uh, to quit my part-time job. Okay, how do I quit my part-time job? Oh, if I got more coaching clients. Oh, if I got a bigger YouTube following, I'd get more clients, I get more people who buy my products, right? So then I reverse engineer and I'm like, oh, you know what? I probably should get a coach on how to help me grow my YouTube channel. So I purchased this online course with this coach, um, with uh, Evan Carmichael, the guy who's like almost 3 million subscribers. Now he has a YouTube course, how to grow your following. And I thought it, it's, which is perfect for business owners, whatever. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do that. And I'm just focusing on that. And this is making me more happy, more fulfilled, right? Because I ask this simple question, what would make me more happy? Just ask that question whenever you feel lost. And when, yes, when you've looked at all the simple things and now your life is okay, your life is happy, uh, you've tried resolving in simple things, then yes, okay, you can be nerd out and start looking at spiral dynamics or you can start reading some psychology literature that's like obscure and weird or whatever. Like, yeah, you can start doing that or you just do, do it if you don't like that, whatever. Just, but like, focus on the fundamentals. Your life, look at your life now. What are things you can face? That's basically it. So if you enjoyed this video about the fundamentals of personal development, you're gonna love this next video here about signs that you're destined to fail at life. You don't want to fail at life, so I'll see you there. You reject any idea or worldview that contradicts your current worldview. Right? Now, what is a worldview? A worldview is your way of seeing the world. Maybe it's, you know, it's just...